<laughs> Let me just keep the thing moving. I don't. Mm-hmm. Listen, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep your kai so Fridays. Keep it nice and vibesy and back and all this. I want to welcome Miss Hannah McIntosh to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year and happy carnival to everybody. Go across by KFC, it's what a big teller tells she. When my theories asked them to use the bathroom, please. But she didn't want no chicken, was in the bank, she was banking. The teller pull rank, madam, you can't pee, where you just bank. So my theories choose a corner, at her age it was pressure, if you see. Come out, pink. pink. It's still beating me. If the 
whole country does wee wee. Why a good customer had to show she too knee in a bank life. Gentlemen, Heather Mackintosh is here with us inside the No Morning Show this morning. And oh my goodness, I tell all this back and all. Thank you, Chorus. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, Mark, you can't be here. Yes, if you need to, we be Mark and Ms. Miss Mackintosh, you can feel free to use our facilities. But on a more serious note, this week was World Read Along Day. Correct. And you are an educator. I am. I am. I'm an educator. In with big ways. people sometimes yeah. and an educator with little people sometimes. Right. So I and operate I at the University of the West Indies where I teach Portuguese. And currently I also hold Just on. No, you yeah. teach Portuguese? I do, and Brazilian studies. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> the woman know what she's been talking in other that's languages. Not, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> so when she, when she wants you back in a, in a different in language, a different language yeah, that's possible. Back that's yeah. possible. Yeah. We, we, we cater Portuguese. to all. <laughs> <laughs> back in all for one and all. Yeah. Yeah. And you say we in Portuguese, just out of curiosity. She, she. She, she. All right, it's here. Learn something now. So, but uh, let me come back to the serious thing now, Alia. Serious. So, World Real Long Day happened this week. And I, you did something very, very interesting this year for World Real Long Day. And it's continuing all month of February long. The entire month of February. So I am operating temporarily as administrator at Trinity Junior School. Mm -hmm. And the Trinity Junior School, what we decided to do is to get prominent members of society to read aloud for the children. Right. For Read Aloud Day. And we've extended it to the entire month. So we had we started with the president of the republic on on nice Wednesday. place to start, start nice to place top, to start. Yeah, yeah. why not yeah. start at the top right so we had the president of the republic read to the children on wednesday at the morning assembly mm -hmm. and in the afternoon we had the minister of education yesterday okay. terence dial singh read for the students nice. and we have other dignitaries who are coming along yeah mm -hmm. so the chief secretary has indicated that he will as well so for the entire month of february we have you know, dignitaries reading to the children. And then in the month of March, we're encouraging the children, each one of them, to write their own stories during the month of Beautiful. February. And for assembly in March, every day, Beautiful. students will be reading. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. That's a fantastic initiative. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, let me talk about new music now. 2022. <laughs> what to do about 2022? 2022 is a difficult year for me. Um, for the first time, and this will probably be 35 years, I think, that I've been around in the Kaiso fraternity. I'm in two minds about whether or not I want to even be in the Kaiso thing. I'm not sure that, that I like what I'm seeing. I understand from one part of it that artists suffered for the last 24 months mm -hmm. and artists want to do something. But on the other hand, I'm not so sure if how we're going about doing the thing is the way in which it should be done. What, yeah? are, the, what are the issues you have with how we're going about doing it this year? Um, I think it is amazing to me. I mean, this year we have had, a friend of mine said to me last night, COVID was the perfect storm. So we're using COVID as the excuse for why we're not doing some of the things that we should be doing. But to my mind, it seems as if every year Carnival catches us by surprise. Right. Mm, you know, we right. know that Carnival coming after Christmas. So to my mind, some of the challenges that we have at Carnival time, not really supposed to be. Mm. And if we're really interested in the culture, look, Schools have found a way to go online. You understand? We've found ways to do things virtually over mm -hmm. the last 24 months. There's no excuse for Kaiso. There's no excuse for Pan. There's no excuse for Mass. It just means that those who have the power, mm -hmm. not interested. Yeah. You understand? I'm so passionate. Mm -hmm. I still, she's talking. So yeah. I don't think you're wrong. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. 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 Came from her soul. It's something yeah. she's been yeah. carrying yeah. for some time. You know I mean, what? she's been in the fraternity, as you rightly say, what, 30 or all this? Because <laughs> Junior Calypso Monarch titles, of course, Monarch titles. Listen, I don't want you to, to, I don't want to negate what you feel because what you feel is real, but we need you. <laughs> we need you to continue. We need you to we continue. We need you. Let me go. She and said, she said, said Back yeah, but I see that. Well, I'm going to train my back up. Hold on, wait. I'm going to train my back up. We don't have much time. Okay. Go oh. ahead. Leave train them quick. What are we doing? Leave Carnival Day. That's the line. That's the line. Right. Right. That's the line. 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 For a puppy show, the disrespect that they have for 
the art form continues to show, continues to show. People think artists are just passionate and overly passionate sometimes and if they hear the outcry online and they see it online, they realize that it's real for lots of people, you know, and it's not just that we talk and they talk, it's that this, this thing comes from so much deeper than just a word or just a type, something that you're typing online. And just and, a performance. Yeah, an deeper than a performance. In your career, in your life and in what you believe in and what you feel, so I can, I can well imagine how Heather feels. Yeah, and it, it's, it's difficult when, I mean, the, the first line that she's saying is that it is a poppy show, right? Mm -hmm. It's disrespectful. And if it feels disrespectful to the people who are practitioners, then, you know, we have to consider that as a real a reality. Yeah. And especially in getting it, hearing it from a veteran who has been in the business for over 35 years. I mean, obviously, she's not just peeking out of vaps. You know what I mean? Let's also add that they would love to tell us, you know, pivot and change. And here we have somebody who is doing 10 million other things <laughs> <laughs> and still strongly moved by it yeah hello we appreciate you nonetheless all the, uh, as a matter of fact even more so because maybe a lot of people are saving face but say you are putting your heart on your sleeve and, and you're not even wearing sleeves no i'm not gonna <laughs> say <laughs> only she's <laughs> dress there we go let me see if we get you a, a little piece of it copy the need to hear the message Promote we carnival for a puppy show. The disrespect that they show to the culture continues to show. Continues to show. They decide to give we a little taste to please their friends and family. Then 